Hello again for USCFSales.com. This is Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 tip for you. We've been looking at searches in Chess Base, the way to find the information that you want to find in a database. That's the primary purpose of this software. There's a ton of things you can do with it, but at its core, what it is, it's a huge library, library of chess games that you can go in and search through the games and find what you want, as long as what you're searching for can be expressed in concrete terms that a computer can understand. One of the things you can do is a material balance search. That's what we're going to look at today. You would right click on the database that you would like to search. I'm going to use a smaller database instead of the large master database just for time purposes, just so the search doesn't take forever. We'll uh, right click on the database we want to search, select search, you have a bunch of tabs up here at the top of the search mask, and we've looked at a bunch of them in previous videos. We're going to go to the material tab this time. We're going to search our library for a particular material balance. And what I'd like to look at is queen versus two rooks. It's the argument you hear at chess clubs all the time. What would you rather have, the queen or the two rooks? Which is better? Which is the win? Etc. Well, let's try to find out. Let's have a look here. Um, the way this works, it's actually very simple. You can just put in the quantities for the different pieces that you want to find on the board. So, for example, if we want to find a queen versus two rooks, first of all, we'll leave ignore colors checked. And I'll show you what that means here in a minute. We want to find one queen. Now, to put in a number, you can use these little arrow buttons to increment the number or subtract from it. So we want one white queen. The other way you can do it, by the way, is you can highlight a number and punch a number on your keyboard like that. Just highlight it and put in the quantity you want. So you can do it that way as well. But it's just easy to use the, uh, the little arrows since your hand's already on the mouse. Go over to the other side and you want two rooks. So it's queen versus two rooks. We're going to want pawns on the board. Let's just for fun say one through eight pawns on each side. We don't want minor pieces, so instead of 0 through 4, we'll make it 0 through 0 for both sides. So what we've set up now, and since we're ignoring colors, I'll show you what that means. We have one queen versus two rooks. With ignore colors checked, it means that it doesn't matter which side has the queen and which side has the rooks. We'll find games in which black has the one queen and white has the two rooks. However, if you uncheck ignore colors and do the search, then you'll find games in which there's one white queen against two black rooks. But we'll ignore the colors. That way one side has the queen, one side has the rooks. Color doesn't matter. Each side is going to have one through eight pawns and no minor pieces on the board. Length it can be important. For this search, not so much. But you can put the number of moves that this material balance has to be on the board. But we'll leave it at one. That way any time it comes up, It'll be there. We'll get those games. We'll click OK. And since we're searching a database of games strictly from the 1800s, the search happens very quickly. We're done already. This was just a subset of my master database. Uh, we get our search results screen. And if we single click on a game, it jumps us right to the position in which that material balance occurs. Here's your queen. Here's your two rooks. Of course, either side can have any number of pawns on the board, as we indicated in our search criteria. Here's a black queen against two white rooks. Black queen against two white rooks. White queen against two black rooks. So just by clicking on different games, just single clicking, we can go to those games and, and check them out. Also, if we double click, we can open up the game and play through it. Notice, by the way, some of the games did come up where it came to the beginning of the game, and that's because if we jump right to the end, we find out that the final position of the game is where this occurs. For example, let's back up a few moves. We'll go to move 34. We'll see there's still a knight on the board and a bishop. We've got to play through a few moves. In the final move of the game, that last minor has come off. So when you're in that list and you single click on a game, and it jumps you to the beginning of the game instead of to an end game board position. What that is, that's a flag that tells you that the material balance that you're looking for actually happens at the last move of the game. What we wind up with is we come up with 57 games in which there was a uh, queen against two rooks with any number of pawns on the board. So it's very simple to do, not very hard at all. You just 
Again, we'll close this and we'll go back and we'll show it one more time. Right click on the database you wish to search. Click search. Click the material tab and just use the numbers. Use the little arrow keys to put in the numbers for the type of material search you're looking for. In this case, one queen against two rooks with any number of pawns on the board. We'll have more videos on this topic. There's more to this dialogue. I want to show you a few more little tricks, a few more things you can do with it, and we'll see that in our next video. We're going to refine this search. We're going to do a little bit different search with the queen and the two rooks to demonstrate some other points. Until that time, I'm Steve Lopez for USCFSales.com. Thanks for watching.